So I promised in the last couple of tutorials that I would do a little tutorial on how to generate a image for the M5 stack because I found generating the image a little bit of a fiddle um, and this should hopefully save someone some time. It took, took me hours to figure out how to do it. Um, I'm using GIMP but you could use Photoshop. Uh, obviously I like GIMP because it's free and open source and as Bitcoiners we should um, support uh, free and open source as much as possible. Um, so we're going to make a new image and uh, it needs to be 320 by 240. Um, okay, now we need to go get an image. So I'm just going to go get uh, the Bitcoin. Let's go get the Bitcoin logo here. I'm going to copy that, paste that in there. Let's scale him. There we go. Um, and just generate your image as you would, you know, any other sort of Photoshop type file. Got to make a new layer there we are now it's a new layer so yeah, i think that looks pretty cool um i'm going to export that as a png boom um what shall i call it uh, m5 stack not png Right, once you've exported that image out, you'll need to go to the little VGL uh, image converter uh, website. If you Google little VGL image converter, then you just select the file you want to convert. We'll have to do some blurring out now. Um, where is it, that one? Okay, and then we're going to call it, just call it image, I suppose. Um, in fact, no, let's call it image. Um, new. Uh, and then that little looks right to me. Hit on convert. It'll ask if you want to save it. Yes, we want to save it. Save it in the um, folder where your project is, where you're going to use the image. Once you've saved that um, in the, the folder, I've deleted the old image and I've got a new image called image new. Um, I'm using the M5 stack one to one um, uh, open node version. I'm going to open that up in Arduino. There's a couple of things we'll need to change. Part to blur out because I'm going to dox myself with Wi-Fi credentials and API keys in a second. There we are. <laughs> um, so at the top here it says, and you might not be able to see it, but it says new image uh, for the include. I'm going to change that to image new. Then I'm going to scroll down um, and in the file image new here, we need to take this where it says image new map. Take that and then replace um, uh, the old image with the new image. So there we are. So the two occurrences in here. First, I want to turn on the unit, and then when I receive a payment, it does it. Um, and then also, you want to uh, get rid of this folder here. So it's just lvgl.h in the include at the top there. We want to scroll down. Um, and at the bottom of the file, there's this header thing we need to get rid of. So get rid of that, and then I'll upload it to my M5 stack. Ooh, turn on my camera, get it ready for when the little device fires up. Nice, there we are, cool. And there's our image. That looks pretty cool, actually. And they should go to the QR code. Boom. So then when we pay the QR code, we'll get the image back as well. So there we are. That's how you put an image on uh, your own custom image on the M5 stack.